वेलकम टू श्री सत्य साई लोक सेवा गुरुकुलम ऑनलाइन सर्विसेस लेट्स लर्न इंग्लिश सीरीज विद मिसेस कल्पना हेबलेकर सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सिक्स वेज ऑफ यूजिंग जेरन ओके द टॉपिक इज सिक्स वेज ऑफ यूजिंग जेरन वाई जेरेंट्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट सिक्स वेज ऑफ यूजिंग जेरेंट्स लेट एस सी वॉट आर द सिक्स वेज ओके फर्स्ट वन जेरन एज अ सब्जेक्ट कॉम्प्लीमेंट okay a subject complement gives more information about the subject now let us see your example ragu is swimming so what is ragu doing it is telling more about it okay ragu is swimming so here ragu is a subject and swimming is a verb and not a gerund okay so a subject complement gives more information about the subject example ragu is swimming so ragu here is a subject and swimming is a verb and not a gerund we have to be careful about this but ragu's favorite sport is swimming okay when we say ragu's favorite sport is swimming here as swimming is a noun so it is a gerund okay so ragu's favorite sport is swimming so swimming acts as a noun over here so it is a gerund so we will see the examples again to make this point clear a subject complement gives more information about the subject example ragu is swimming here ragu is subject and swimming is a verb and not a gerund okay then again we'll see another example Ragu's favorite sport is swimming. Here, as swimming acts as a noun, okay, so it is a gerund. Now the next gerund as a subject of a sentence, okay. So this is very easy. Studying is good for life. So studying is acting as a subject of the sentence. So. gerund as a subject of the sentence so we have to underline studying is good for life okay sleeping is necessary to life sleeping is necessary to life then here sleeping is acting as the subject okay here both studying and sleeping are the subjects okay then the next gerund as an object of a transitive verb okay now let us see what is a transitive verb a transitive verb is a verb that requires a direct object which is a noun a pronoun or noun phrase that follows the verb and completes the sentence's meaning by indicating the person or thing that receives the action of the verb the direct object typically answers the question what or whom okay i'll read this again and then give explain you with an example okay what is a transitive verb a transitive verb is a verb that requires a direct object which is a noun pronoun or noun phrase okay that follows the verb and completes the sentence's meaning by indicating the person or thing that receives the action of the verb okay the direct object typically answers the question what or whom now we'll see the example he disliked sleeping in the day time okay jesse likes running so it is very clear here see a transitive verb is a verb that requires a direct object see in the day time okay so it is understood that it is daytime is acting as a direct object which is a noun pronoun or a noun phrase that follows the verb now which is the verb here sleeping here it is running so here sleeping not always but sleeping so it is following okay and completes the sentence meaning by indicating the person or that which receives the action of the verb so here who is receiving he is disliked he disliked okay so this is the action verb okay so sleeping 
So, now next we go to the fourth type that is gerund as an object of a preposition. Gerund as an object of a preposition. When a gerund follows a preposition, it is an object of the preposition. Now, see when a gerund follows a preposition, it is an object of the preposition. Now, we will see the example. After studying, we took a break. So, here after is a preposition, here we will say after is a preposition and studying is a gerund. So, it follows right, follows a preposition. So, after is followed by the gerund. We got into trouble for giggling. So, for is a preposition and giggling is gerund. Okay? Okay, then the fifth one is gerund in place of infinitive. Now, let us see that any verb that is preceded by the word to is an infinitive. Okay, in short, we will just revise this again. Okay, any verb that is preceded by the word to is an infinitive. Now, let us see the examples. I expect to have the report done by Monday, it is an infinitive. Okay? I anticipate having the report done by Monday is a gerund. Okay? Why? Here it is having having H A V I N G. So, it is a gerund and here it is following that is it is preceding that is means a coming after okay? to have. So, I expect to have the report done by Monday, which is a infinitive. I hope it is clear. Yes. Now, the sixth one, gerund as apposition to a noun. What is apposition? Apposition means the use of noun phrase immediately after another noun phrase that refers to the same person or thing. Is it not interesting? Very interesting, right? Yes. Apposition means the use of noun phrase immediately after another noun phrase that refers to the same person or thing. Now, let us see with example. My hobby swimming is a great exercise. Okay? So, my hobby swimming is a great exercise. So, my hobby is a noun phrase which is immediately followed by another noun phrase that is swimming is a great exercise. Okay? I hope you have understood. Yes. Now, let us see what is the thought for the day and handwriting practice. Thought for the day for loud reading and handwriting practice. Okay? When we become one with God, our mind dies. That is, Manonasha happens. Our will then becomes one with God's will. Okay? So, this is said by Sadguru Sri Madhusudan Sai. So, when we become one with God, our mind dies. That is, Manonasha happens. Our will then becomes one with God's will. When we become one with God, our mind dies, that is manonasha happens. Our will then becomes one with God's will. This is said by Sadguru Sri Madhusudan Sai. So, thank you for watching Sri Satya Sai Lok Siva Gurukulam online classes. Let the light of love, peace and grace be on all of us. Thank you. Sai Ram.